Hi everyone! It's story time. Today I am going to tell you a story about the magic porridge pot. Before we proceed, please remember to like and subscribe. Let's start. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived with her mother, who was a widow. They were so poor that one day they found they had nothing left to eat. <gasps> the little girl went off into the woods to play. She was so hungry that she began to cry. <laughs> Look, there's a rabbit and a robin catching a worm. An old woman came up to her. Why are you crying, my child? She asked. Because I am so hungry, <laughs> said the little girl. Then you shall be hungry no more, said the old woman. She gave the little girl a small cooking pot. There's a robin flying. Then the old woman said, "When you are hungry, just say to the pot, 'Cook, little pot.'" Cook, it will cook some very good porridge for you. Look, a robin sitting down. When you want the pot to stop cooking, when on the old woman, you must say stop, little pot, stop. The little girl was so hungry that she wanted some porridge at once. So she said to the little pot. Cook, little pot. Cook. Look, there's a rabbit. The little cooking pot did as it was told, and began to cook some porridge. The little girl could hardly wait to try some. When the porridge was cooked, the little girl said, "Stop, little pot. Stop." The porridge tasted very good, and the little girl ate every little of bit of it. Mmm. The little girl ran home with the cooking pot to her mother, and and told her what the old woman had said. Now our worries are over," said her mother happily. "The little pot will keep us well fed. Look, that the mouse also wants the porridge, carrying a plate. Whenever they were hungry, they said to the lit to the cooking pot." Cook, little pot. Cook. The porridge was always very good, and they always enjoyed it. Look, the mouse is waiting with the plate. One day, the little girl went out for a walk. While she was out, her mother felt hungry, so she said, "Cook, little pot. Cook. Look, there's an animal here." The pot. The pot began to cook some porridge. The mother began to eat it. It was very good porridge, and she enjoyed it. Look, the mouse is also eating porridge too. She was so busy eating the porridge that she forgot to tell the pot to stop cooking. The pot went on and on cooking more and more porridge. Look, the mouse is trying to tell her to stop. Stop! Stop! Soon. The porridge began to cook over the top of the little cooking pot. When the mother saw this, she knew that she must tell the pot to stop cooking, but she had forgotten the words. Look, the mouse is taking some porridge and ran off. The pot just went on and on, cooking more porridge. Soon, there was porridge all over the table and all over the kitchen floor. Ah, yo! Chamo, and still the little pot went on cooking more and more porridge. Look, the mouse is waiting for the porridge to drip on its plate. Soon, all the house was full of porridge. Oh my! Oh, and still the little pot went on cooking more and more porridge. There's a there's the mouse. Soon, the house next door was full of porridge. 
Look, there's a windmill. And the two mice are sitting inside a bowl. A bowl. And still, the little pot went on cooking more and more porridge. Soon, all the houses in the street were full of porridge. Oh my, oh my. And still, the little pot went on cooking more and more porridge. There's a cat licking the porridge. Soon, nearly all the streets in the town were full of porridge. Oh my, oh dear. And still, the little pot went on cooking more and more porridge. Look, there's a clock. All the people from all the houses came out into the street. No one knew how to stop the little pot from cooking more porridge. It just went on and on, cooking more and more porridge. Look, the two mice. One is sitting inside a wheelbarrow and one is pushing it. The people in the town began to think that soon all the world will be filled with porridge. Just as the porridge was reaching the last house in the town, the little girl came back from her walk. Look, two mice, one sitting on the plate, one sitting in the cup. At first, at first she could not tell what happened, what had happened to the town. Please stop the little pot from cooking any more forage, cried her mother. The little girl said, Stop, little pot, stop! And then, at last, the little pot did, did stop cooking porridge. But anyone who wants to go into that town now will have to eat his way through a lot of porridge. Kia, kit ya moi. And that's the end of the story. I'll see you in other videos. Bye.